Hi, this is Terry Gardner with TerryTravels.com. We're here at the San Diego Zoo with Janet Hawes, uh, Tinka's keeper. They've been raising Tinka since she was about the size of a kidney bean because her mother was sickly and rejected her from the pouch. Body now is fully furred. She's no longer naked. Her skin, therefore, is more protected than it was when she was younger. And she's free to hop in and out of her pouch as she'd like. She said, where's my vial? And then she goes. So you can see how very tiny and, and narrow her palate still is. It's very small. And these guys have a very shallow suckling response. They don't really suck it all down quickly like some animals do. Right. Um, um, this nipple here is, is very soft and it takes a while for her to, to suck all the formula out of it because we want it to come out really slowly. If it comes out right. too fast, it can be risky. They can inhale right. the milk into their lungs. Just like so, the human babies, exactly. right? So you just want to be really careful. It's also sort of a behavioral thing. The suckling mm -hmm. response is very comforting to the animal. Right. You don't want to rush your feeding. You want them to feel comfortable. Right. And, uh, and have the, the bottle feeding a positive experience for them, too. Right. Now, I'm sure you're careful, or would she ever need, like, burping like a, reg a human Absolutely. baby? Absolutely, yeah. All, all animals need to be burped. They'll oh. just want air. In addition to their formula, They each time they swallow, they swallow a little bit of air. She oh. might slow down a little bit, and I'll give her a chance to burp. And a little mm -hmm. break and then we'll start again. Oh, okay. Sometimes I'll change the nipple and, and that'll um, that'll help her to finish her bottle, but these guys are not the easiest animals to hand feed. Right. It's a little bit of a skill, a little bit of a trick to it, um, and each one of us has had to learn that. That's part of the great experience that we've gotten in raising Tinka from mm -hmm. such a uniform state. So it wasn't a big surprise that this little baby was ejected right. from the pouch because her mother was so ill. Well, the keeper who found her is my hero. Yes, she is. And she yes. knew just what to do. She took her straight up to the hospital where um, she received the, the care that was so important. It's so important every minute that these animals' body temperature right. goes down. The longer they're in that state, the more senior veterinarians, Dr. Meg Sutherland-Smith, also noticed that her eyes were caked with dirt. Her ears had dirt in them. Oh. Her nose and mouth was caked with dirt, so she had to clean her off and, uh, you know, get, get have some pretty bounce up and down oh, a little okay. bit. Oh, okay. And then you just wait. A lot of times it just takes a while for that air bubble to come to the top of the stomach area and mm -hmm. then to be expelled. And so you, you can hear a little feel sound? It. Or, sometimes oh. you can hear a sound, but sometimes you can feel it. My hand is right on her right. chest wall, so I can I can feel right. it. Well, she looks very content. She's pretty happy right now. This is her, yeah. this is her happy time. Okay, thank you for consenting to this interview, Tinka.